Hey everybody, it's Coach Matt over here at Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. You know, if you watched our videos in the past, what you see is that I work with a lot of high school athletes. And because of that, we work with a lot of basic compound movements, things like bench press, squats, deadlifts, etc. Now most of these movements are done, and they're the basic versions of these movements so that our athletes can get stronger faster and have sort of a base uh, amount, a base total to work of out of when we do our uh, exercises and our training here in the gym. Well the problem is when I train myself I need to use a little bit heavier weight than what my beginner high school athletes use and nowhere is this more prevalent than in dumbbell bench. See, dumbbell bench press, I only go up to an 80 pound dumbbell here at the gym. Quite frankly, these dumbbells are really only used by me and one other person here at the gym. My other athletes are just not up to that level yet because we are dealing with a lot of younger athletes and we're dealing with athletes that are working on flat bench with a 45 pound power bar. Um, they're just not using the heavy dumbbells for dumbbell presses. However, a few weeks ago, I hit a plateau in the bench and decided that I was going to do three or four weeks of heavy dumbbell bench press to sort of take some time off the bench and work on my lower end strength pushing off the chest which is where my sticking point was. Problem is 80 pounders are not heavy enough. So here's a cool trick that I use here to make the 80 pound dumbbells heavier for myself and for the other gentleman that trains here that we need to be heavier for. What I do is I have a half inch band. I bought the band, I believe these came from Perform Better. Actually, I'm pretty sure they did. You go to performbetter.com, you can find them on there. They've got half inch, full inch. What you do is you take the band, just a regular old stretch band, wrap it up a few times in your hand. So you're gonna wrap it up a few times and you're gonna put it right behind your back. Okay, right sort of at the bottom of your shoulder blades and you're gonna hold it in your hands. Now once you have it around your back, as you can see, it's kind of wrapped up a few times. Once you have it around the back, you're going to grab the dumbbells and do your dumbbell press as normal. Now this is going to add probably an additional 10 to 15 pounds onto each side, depending on arm length. Now the other thing is, guys, if you have long monkey arms, spider monkey arms like I do, this is going to work. If you are a shorter athlete, if you're say 5'5", five 5'6", foot five, five foot and below, you're probably not going to get any tension from these bands. So you're going to have to try to rig up a different way of doing it. Spider monkey arms, you better believe these are going to add some weight at the top of this press. So let me show you a few. So it's around the back, it's in my hands. Grab these 80s real quick. Have a seat. Start pressing. guys so there you go as you can see at the bottom the weights didn't feel like 80s they felt more like maybe 85 90 pound dumbbells at full lock they were up to maybe equivalent of about 105 pound dumbbell 110 pound dumbbell Whew. out of breath those are tough if you're limited by the size of your dumbbells cheap little five dollar ten dollar band wrap it around your back and you're good to go Guys, if you're looking for more tips like this, if you're looking for more drills, more questions, let me know. This is what I do. Send your questions, matt at primalatc.com, or you can go to Primal Athlete Training Center Facebook page, click like, leave your question right there, and I'll answer it here in a video. Hope to hear from you soon.